Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. I do all the lead code solutions, got a playlist, do the premium ones on my Patreon. And uh, yeah, I have a Discord as well if you want to join that. But uh, this is a problem called Buddy Strings. Um, it is uh, definitely has mixed reviews here. Um, and uh, I know why. I mean, it's kind of specific, I would say. So here's the problem. Given two strings, uh, A and B of lowercase letters, return true if and only if we swap two letters in A so that the result equals B. So we have a method, buddy strings, that returns true or false, a Boolean value. We're given two strings, and we return true if two le- if we swap two letters in this first string, and we can get the second string, B, then we'll return true. So you can see here, if we swap the A and B, we get B, A, so that would be true. Here, if we swap AB, we would uh, get BA, and that's not what we're trying to get. We're trying to just stay at AB, so that's false. If we swap AA, we get AA, so that's fine. Um, and then, you know, you can go through the rest of these examples. There's a few other ones, but I guess, I mean, maybe we could just go through them. There's only two more. Um, if you swap uh, BC, you get the CB right here. See that? So the A's don't matter because it's only two characters. And um, if you have an empty string, then you're not swapping anything, so you're not going to get this, so that's false. Okay, there we go. So how do we do this? Um, First of all, it's two characters for some reason, really specific, so we have to make sure that the strings... Well, first of all, the strings have to be the same size for them to be, you know, equal um, after a swap. So first we'll do is, okay, if a.length is not equal to, sorry, not equal to b dot length. What is going on with the type in here? Uh, we're going to return false because it is impossible. So that's that's good. Good start. Good start. Um, what else? Okay. Also, there has to be a difference of two characters um, besides one edge case. So we'll go over the edge case at the end. Um, but to handle the characters, we're just going to need a list of integers and this is going to hold the um, different indices that the array is that the strings are different at. So, for example, it's going to put indice for this example, uh, example one. It would say, okay, we're going to loop through the strings, and if they're both different at index zero, we'll put zero into the array, and if they're both in, uh, different at index one, we'll put a one into the array. So yeah, we're looping through. They're both the same length, so you could pick whatever you want, a dot length or b dot length to loop up to. And then you just do, okay, if a dot char at i is not equal to b dot char at i, well then that's a difference. So we'll say diff dot add the index. So we put the index that they're different at. And there can only be two, right? So we'll have a condition, okay, if diff dot size is equal to two, then that's good, right? Um, so we would return true, else return false. Okay, so we're getting close here. So first of all, we need two different indexes that the characters are different at in the strings, right? For example, if you look at all the examples, um, there's two indexes where the characters are different. There's one, there's two. Um, this one doesn't have it, so it's false. Two indexes would be the first character and the second character, even though, you know, you just imagine they're different uh, letter A's. Um, this index and this index and then this index and this index. So that has to be size two for us to return true, but not just that. There's a one more, th- uh, well, not one more, but I guess, yeah, kind of one more. Um, the characters have to be, um, you know, corresponding to each other, I guess I would say. You know, this A if the the two indexes um, that we find where there's a difference, the character at the first index in the first string has to be equal to the character at the second index in the second string, and vice versa. And the character at the first index in the second string has to be equal to the character at the, you know, whatever. I don't even, I lost my train of thought, but whatever. That's, you know what I'm saying. Um, otherwise it wouldn't work. So if a dot char at diff dot get zero is equal to b, it's really an easy problem. So it's not too bad. 
diff dot get one um, you know then that's good and uh, b dot char at diff dot get zero is equal to a dot char at uh, diff dot get one because if we're dealing with <clears throat> If we're dealing with, you know, a bunch of different letters, then it's not going to work because you can only swap. It's only a one times, you know, it's only swapping the indices. So um, two different indices. So it's not, um, you know, we don't have the ability to change, you know, if it was an A, B and a D, C, you know, we don't have the ability. It's not like we're changing, you know, A to D and B to C, you know. Uh, so you have to check that the indices are right. Um there's one edge case. The edge case is this one. Basically, when we see two A's, it has to return true. You would, you might not, you know, you might think this is weird. So, basically, we have to account for that. So, we'll say, if it's all the same character, we'll say, okay, that's fine. So, um, to do that, we'll say, okay, if A already equals B, so if they're the same string, then what we want to do is we want to create a hash set and make sure that everything's good here. So we're gonna create a hash set and we'll say unique chars is equal to new hash set. Whatever you wanna call your hash set is fine by me. Um, we'll loop through every char in uh, a.2 char array and we will add it to the unique chars hash set. And once we have that, we wanna do, okay, if unique chars.size is less than a dot length meaning that um so for example if it was one then we return true else false and then this is the whole problem but this this handles it because if we're dealing with you know one character a if we're saying um if the input was like a and a well this would be false because we're not change we're not doing a swap to get from here to here that's it so this handles that because, um, you know, the unique the unique characters as we loop through and put them in a hash set would be equal to A. So we would get a false. So that's right. We would want a false there. Um, when it's multiple A's like this, we go through and we only put one A, right? Because hash sets only keep unique values. So as long as the unique values is less than the length, then we know that there are repetitive values and we can just return true. So that's pretty much it. Just the edge case. You want to make sure that uh, the corresponding indices are the same for, um, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you know what I mean. Like uh, index zero of the first string has to be index one of the second string. Index zero of the second string has to be index one of the first string. Um, you know what I mean? To swap and uh, become the same, you know, become the same, you know, this has to swap uh for these characters to swap like they have to be equal you know what i mean like it's hard for me to explain it like this has to be equal for, to this and this has to be equal to this so that we know when we swap them that it's going to become the correct string i don't know how much more clear to make it but yeah that's it uh, as long as the lengths are equal you account for the um sorry you account for all of this a string with just all of the same letters and um you check this and you check the sizes too then uh you're all good that's it uh pretty easy problem i mean it's fine it's just pretty specific and weird and kind of has weird rules um but it's definitely still pretty good so good practice let me know what you guys think let me know if you have questions uh probably not even worth making it's probably not worth making a video solution to some of these because some of them are just like dude just look it up in the solution but uh you know i've said i'm doing them all i'm doing them all so thanks for watching see you guys next time